Walk a mile in these Louboutins. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Que Rica TV. We are here in Harlem with the fabulous, amazingly talented, and super sweet Danny of Danny Nicole Designs. I am so excited. <laughs> Hi, thank you for having me. Oh my goodness, thank you for sitting down with us. Guys, if you don't know about this woman, look out because she is about to blow up beyond blowing up, okay? When I tell you, we have seen her stuff on Toya Wright, Fantasia, Jessica White, so, I mean, she's one to look out for. Que rica. You're from Tennessee. <laughs> You're a girl living in the big city, living out her dreams. How did this all happen for you? Um, well, it was a journey, believe it or not. It started in high school. I went to Tresman Voltec in 12th grade. I would go to my regular classes during the day. In the second half of the day, a bus would take me to another school, <laughs> and I would sew at another school. And um, after high school, I graduated, went to design school in Tennessee. I went to the International Academy of Design, graduated from there, and then I found out about FIT. Waited on a wait a waiting list for an hour. I mean, no, not for an hour, a year. <laughs> and then they finally contacted me. I got accepted, and school was starting the next month. And I packed up with hundred and fifty dollars. Didn't know anything. Didn't know anybody. Packed up and left, and came here to New York. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so you're really like building your empire on. A dollar and a dream. A hundred and fifty dollars and a dream. That's exactly what it was. Now I'm here, I'm four years in and just finishing up fashion week. It's a blessing. Like I sometimes it blows my mind that I'm here doing this. Like it, I think about it and get emotional. Que rica. You mentioned an internship. Was this the internship at Bo Bad Boy? Yes. She she worked with Diddy. <laughs> I mean like um, in summer of 2010, I interned at a bad boy and I still had a little regular job and I just told my manager, look, I'm doing this internship. This is what I really want. Fire me, do what you need to do. And he was very understanding. And from there, I, I was interning with his stylist, so Derek Roach. Hey, Derek. <laughs> and, um, but that wasn't my first love. I would go and talk to the design team for Sean John um, when I was there and I ended up leaving the stylist internship and I ended up interning for Sean John menswear and that turned into a job and I ended up being there for three years and I ended up getting a better position while I was in school at Tommy Hilfiger Little Girl. They were starting a little girls line and I got that job and I ended up becoming a design assistant there. And in the midst of that, I ended up getting another job offer, which I took and that was at Calvin Klein Boys. Right now, you are a living testament to something that um, for a lady that we interviewed, Felicia Fricasi, she stated, if you don't grow, it's time to go. So you True. I changed a lot in, in four years. I go back home and they're like, hey, superstar, or, you know, or, I'm, I don't even sound the same. I don't act the same. I'm just such a little businesswoman now, you know, and even my mom hears it. But I'm like, I'm the same little country girl. They're like, no, you're not. I still smile. I, I still I love it because smiles are what bring the good stuff that's that's very true and a, and a humble attitude and a humble attitude, humble attitude. <laughs> so are these big smiles and humble attitudes bringing in the men as well oh lord <laughs> I mean, hopefully they're not running away because that would make me really mad well i mean they are it, it is quite a few that are trying to pursue but I'm so into my career I'm so in love with it I do want to settle down one day I am getting I'm not a spring chicken anymore so <laughs> I'm getting up there so you know I, I do want that to happen she, she's saying <laughs> if, if you think you can fit the job you should apply que rica. let's talk about your branding right now you are no seriously because i feel like you are a great businesswoman and that you are always thinking about your brand a lot of designers are just so infatuated with sewing that they forget that brand inside and me working in the industry for three and a half years four years i saw it all the time when i was at sean john i would stay every night 
after I closed out my Sean John work, I would sit there. I was supposed to get off like at six o'clock. I would stay at the office till like 11, working on my own logo. Now it's everywhere. It's, it's, <laughs> it's inside my jacket, my bla Danny Nicole blazer, yeah. Uh, it's inside my blazer, it's on my t-shirt. It's everywhere and it's that signature, you know, and it means so much. I, can, I ship to Canada, I ship to everyone. I'm not there to explain my garment, but I put my name in it. I've explained it, I feel like. Que rica. What is the most important lesson you've taken from any of your jobs? I literally learned everything and I had the best teacher. I used to work with the senior designer. Hey, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Nader. <laughs> Linda taught me everything. She is like my shero. What's great about you is that you recognize the value in this internship and in these opportunities. I feel like a lot of people when they're like, oh, I don't want to do an internship because I'm not trying to work for nobody, something, something. But they don't realize the wealth of knowledge that you gain. To be a, a chief, you have to be an Indian. Ooh. And a lot of people don't realize that I do to this day. I don't mind being an Indian because there's somebody out there that can sew better than me. There's somebody out there that knows more than me that I still need to know. So I will turn into an Indian real quick. Now, when my <laughs> assistant walks in, I'm the chief, you know. <laughs> but other than that, I, I don't mind because you can always learn something. I didn't mind working for anybody. I, man, y'all don't. Ooh, you don't even know. I, when I was interning. We used to have 5.30 a.m. call times. I wouldn't leave set if we were shooting a Sean John um, commercial or we were shooting for Diddy, Dirty Money. I would be on set from 5 a.m. to literally like 2 a.m. the next day. No pay. No pay. And from that came jobs and me designing the garments for Diddy Dirty Money for the 2010 BET Awards and styling them in Miami for baseball games and sitting in Skybox with Ciroc and free food and, and still getting and then getting paid for that, you know, staying in suites and hotels and staying at Diddy's house. Like I did all of those things, but it came from hard work. It really did. And so you have to you have to take the grind to get the shine, you know, it, 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 it's hand in hand. You are like the queen of quotes right now. I'm about to bust out a notepad. Que rica. What are your plans going forward for Danny Nicole? I'm actually trying to, well, in the works of partnering with a financial company right now. So they will really help me get to the next level as far as mass production, showrooms, and everything. I'll keep you posted on this. And um, yeah, you may see myself in some boutiques out here in Brooklyn, New York, hey, LA, Florida, Miami, wherever. Que rica. Where can people find your pieces? Where could they purchase from you and all that good stuff? Well, you can well, you can purchase my pieces from DannyNicoleDesigns.com. You also can purchase my pieces at DannyNicoleDesigns.BigCartel.com. Um, and you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at DannyNicole1. Que rica. Danny, thank you so much for spending time with us and telling us your story. We hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned for all of the awesomeness coming out of this lovely lady. Bye, guys. Thanks Bye. for tuning in. <laughs> Work, 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 working on my shit. Milk the whole game twice. Gotta get it how I live. I've been work, 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 working on my shit. Now get this so, uh, where did the days? <laughs> Stylist and fashion writer extraordinaire. She does it all. What's up? Hey, what's up? 